Hello everybody, today is going to be kind of like a texture pack spotlight episode of Alternia Craft, Dave goes to Alternia, his journey, because actually me doing a let's play, actually like someone was like, alright you're doing a let's play, well hell I'll help you out, and I'm like, holy shit, am I like famous now, because that, that shit blew my mind. I was like, all these other people come in, and he's like, nah, not really, not really going to update. And I'm like, yeah, I'm done, let's play. He's like, dude, for you, it's kind of how it feels in my heart. So, yeah, you recognize this, I think. Well, that's Alternia 4. I think it's 4. I forget which number it is. I'm already screwing this up. But this is Alternia Update. It's been updated for a couple days now. You can already see dark green, lighter green. Dark purple, lighter purple, which I like. So we're going to go to Alternia Homestuck. And yeah, we're going to see my world. You didn't really get to see it in like the old one. The only thing that's really changed is like the mossy cobblestone went from being like a the moss was black and like dark gray to yellowish now. And a couple of things like that. Most everything remains largely unchanged unless it was just more polished up. And emerald and stuff now looks like it's actually like in the game. Because before it was just like the empty title frames with the little things. And this is some real slow startup. Mm hmm. Gonna get some lag because I'm using a shitty computer. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, God. I should probably not show you the farm starting off. Why did I not plan this video out better? Mm -hmm. Eh. You don't really know what any of this is. Uh, well, I guess you kind of do. Am I not? Okay, there we go. First of all, I'm going to show off the house. The his house. The his, his, bejiz. And if you watched the previous episode... You'll know, like, hey, his computer lags real bad when he's recording. That's why he's not recording, like, all these awesome builds. Though, if you have any questions about, like, the awesome builds, I will link you to videos, because I do not wish to take credit for anything I ripped off of people. So, yeah, James, James Burnt Docum, D-C-O-M, I think it is. Yeah, so we polished this up real nice, put some fountains, some glowstone. I thought this was probably like a troll symbol. I'm not the most canon person when it comes to this. And um, that's why I'm usually trying to get like dual commentations with this. So it's like, hey, I'll be like myself and commentate for myself while I dress myself, while I look at myself, working on myself. Jim Gaffigan reference, what's up? And they would be like the homestuck person. A little portal here goes to the nether. If you're wondering like Dude, why did you just build two rooms and a to the nether? That's not really much of a house. Where's the bed? Just wait. Just, just wait. Just wait. Cause you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm-hmm. Lag, lag, lag. Lag like a fag. All right, I really like this. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, the stone. He actually, cause the stone before was just regular stone. He went back and made it darker. It's all cool looking. Worked on soul sand a little bit. It was a different color purple, I believe. Nether wart, don't really know. I haven't really tried to grow on another wart farm. And let's check down here in the stairway to nether. Oh, get it? Stairway to heaven reference? This is, this is full of references today. Maybe like I'll do more like texture packs, like spotlights and stuff. Don't really know for sure. I guess it just depends on like how well this goes over. And yeah, lag. There was a giant gas floating around here somewhere. Oh yeah, on peaceful mode. Well, that's gay. Let's go ahead and put it on hard. I ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah, so there was the, there we hear the gas. Not really sure if any of the nether mobs have changed. It doesn't really look like it. I think the ghast may be a little different. But, you know, there's going to be more updates. I'm sure he'll have to update it again at some point. I don't know. I still feel like a celebrity. Did I mention that? I feel like a celebrity. 
I reached the 200 subs mark. I got someone to like update a texture pack just for my let's play. I mean, it's just like it's actually the best thing in the world that is happening. And yeah, glitchy, glitchy. I really like the doors. I think the doors are one of the coolest things because normally they're just like medieval wood doors. It's not really like whoop de doo wood doors. And I had the idea to make like all the wood here blue, but then Cassandra, my sister's like, that's more of a Terezi thing, not really a Dave thing. I'm like, well, fuck you. Didn't know that. I told you, not the most canon homestick person. Here's some awesome redstone T flip flops and whatnot. If you're a fan of James Burnt, you you will know you know you know what's coming up. You see the madam blocks. You see this configuration. You see this awesome storage device right here. Storage room of awesome. Can't really lagging a little bit, so you can't really get the smoothness of it. But yeah. That I'm real proud of myself because I'm like, holy fuck, I actually worked redstone and not fucked it up. Then you got your anvils here. Don't really know why I made three. I just thought it was based off the room efficiently. Is that different? I haven't really enchanted anything since I installed the new one, but I thought the other one had like different colored lines. It's still cool nonetheless. Yeah. That this room is actually a lot of like cobblestone and mossy cobblestone, and then I'm like, well, that just looks weird with like the yellow parts when it was originally just like black or so. I left some of it in because I thought you know, this would add a rustic feel to it, I made a potion place. If you're wondering, I did most of this on creative mode. I tested out a lot of it on survival mode. There's some chest, ender chest. I don't know why I made two ender chests. Well, I didn't really make them. I just spawned them in. But yeah, I have played around a decent amount in not creative mode just to see how surviving would go, and it's going pretty well. And here's the automatic melon farm again, another ripoff of James Burnt. So please go show support if you're like, holy fuck, how do I do this? Trust me. He's got like two 30 minute videos dedicated to the wheat farm over here. And his, I believe, was pressure plate activated, but I put mine on a button. I don't exactly remember what he did. But yeah, basically the water comes out of the well, water comes out of the dispensers. Pushes it off because it stops on that block, but the stuff gets pushed off into the stream and the stream goes over here and the pressure plate lights up that. I changed a little bit of from what he did. If you're wondering, like each room is kind of like a different thing, and then this one's like green, then ash-colored wood into the grand delagrente. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. I only do for homage. I had to put a golem because I don't want to put a whole bunch of torches on this awesome fucking Dave symbol. But yeah. He, and there's actually a day of texture pack specifically, but it doesn't really. I might do another like, cause this is only Act One. There's there's possibly 500 more acts to come, thousands of episodes. So at some point I maybe like do a spur act and then like a Dave World act, and all sorts of awesome stuff. I may even like whole start a whole other world. Like Dave gets zapped through an alternate reality. Like I'll recreate this world, and he's like has to start all over again. Depend on how if I get a new game in PC and just depend on life and stuff but for now I think this is pretty epic epic don't really know what to say I'm very pleased with how it turned out I don't know about you but for me it's muy muy bueno Here's some beds. I haven't really figured out what to do with this. I'm hoping for some fan feedback and be like, yeah, you know what? You should do what the hell? That was... I hadn't had that happen to me yet. That was weird. Hopefully this doesn't burn down. I had a time, too, with this, boy. We'll call on fire, like, twice. Holy crap. I just hope nothing goes wrong in here. That, that would suck. I put hours into this. This is why I haven't been uploading anything else, because I've been so immersed in trying to build this world for the series. 
And I'm actually going to do a Fallout map because I've actually considered myself quite the fancy builder with my work on this. So I'm like, you know what? I could probably do a Fallout map. But yeah, you should go show support for the person that made this texture pack. Link in the description. I can't really pronounce his name. I didn't write it down. I was doing this ad lib. The only weird thing is, is I tried to do like a third portal and that fucked up the portal here. So when you go from the top world to here, it's this portal. And when you go from this portal to the other portal, you come out in the portal one again. So I've got to figure that out. If you know anything, please do that. But yeah, if you go from the second room, you just walk back into that portal. Because I'm planning to find a way, maybe get in touch with the guy that made the texture pack and be like, hey, can you put this world save up there? It's like the Dave house. Maybe Andrew Huss still see this and be like, hey, do you want to write an episode of Homestuck or some shit? It's going to be crazy. But yeah, I'm going to end it here and then do like a part two. So I'll see you in a bit.